Hi, I'm Daryl Burnett with the Innovative Farmers of Ontario. We're leaving behind more than just tire tracks. Compaction means leaving 20% of yields behind. With Matthias Stettler from Switzerland, here in September we tested the soil stress from dozens of different pieces of equipment and tires with our Compaction Action event. In another video, we outline a combine and tractor demo for tracks versus tires. But there's nothing like talking to a farmer. So here we've got Ken Nixon farming near Ilderton, Ontario on tracks, and Sean Schill from Arthur, who has tried tracks and prefers tires. Good morning. Uh, we, uh, we started in the track journey in 2004, put our cart, our grain cart on tracks. Uh, in 2006, we purchased our first tractor on tracks, and in 13, we, uh, we traded combines, we moved into a track machine. The cons of track systems, uh, first of all, cost, obviously, they're, uh, they're expensive, uh, they're an expensive option, uh, as well, maintenance, mid-rollers, suspensions, uh, multiple grease points uh, on a lot of this stuff. Uh, weight, uh, as demonstrated with the with the two staggers off the start, uh, track systems are heavy. They add a lot to the tear weight of, of just about any implement. And then the next thing too is uh, they're hard to pull on the road. Think about it. A tire, a tire once it starts to roll, will stay rolling. A track is basically a great big long bunch of cables that are very stiff, and you're trying to bend them around a constantly bend them around a, a fairly small radius at, uh, at each end so uh, it, it takes a lot of power to move them. Rough ride on the road. Tire will roll real nice especially over you know get the washboard up to a stop sign. Uh, tracks they'll shake the fillings out of your teeth. Uh, if, having said that it's like butter in the field. The positives so one is uh, transport widths tend to be not often more than about 14 or 15 feet wide. The second thing is, uh, and, and basically the other main pro of them is they just flat out work. Um, so I've been in a couple of situations, uh, what I call rescue missions, uh, where I've gone in to, to help a neighbor out, uh, you know, a relatively light combine, like a cut and foot deep ruts. And we slide in with the uh, track combine, a track tractor, straddle the ruts and, and take the crop out. We seem to be able to go places on tracks so we just can't go with with tires now having said that you know we got the sub uh, surface compaction issue that you know something we don't see or don't recognize but all i know is uh we seem to be able to to zip into fields and make very very little mess and 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 get crop out and that's primarily where we utilize tracks is on our harvest equipment so next up sean shell sean is the the owner here at shaw ridge I really appreciate uh, him letting us be here, he's been awesome. Our farm business has became quite concerned about soil compaction and, and making sure that our capital investment underneath our feet is gonna be passed on to the next generation with good a shape if not better than what we received it in. Uh, what our focus is on is, is increasing footprint, reducing tire pressures, looking at axle loads. We did have a combine that we purchased on tracks and for all the reasons that Ken basically said he didn't like them was the reason why they came off. In normal soil conditions they were great, ride nice in the field, uh, but on frozen dirt they are just a bear. With some of the new tire technology that's coming out, we think there's a better future for us going towards the tire systems and using the systems to help us transition from road the field and you know I sat here for two days watching Mateus's pit and equipment going across and there was a huge amount of information that I seen come out of that that has me rethinking and refocusing to what you know what we're looking to do down the road all equipment's getting heavier it's becoming more and more of a challenge to maintain productivity yet at the same time somehow step lighter as we're doing it and Peter says well we beat up this field as bad as we did and you know there is going to be compaction issues out here but it's a small price to pay to see the information and take away from it because I can apply that to thousands of other acres and that's going to pay me back huge.
Many thanks to Sean Schill and his family from Arthur for hosting our Compaction Action event. Check out more of the data at ifao.com.